Nice to meet you, mate. Is that it then, yeah? Oh. What's your score? <laughs> I'll give it a five. Oh, five out of five. Oh, oh, I was going to say out of five. <laughs> Thanks very much, mate. Oh, really? They're doing one of them, are you? Yeah. We certainly are, mate, yeah. This is where they do the rats. Yes. Look. Oh, yeah, you did one. No problem. I was telling you about that, wasn't I? Yeah, yeah. These are famous. They went viral, didn't they? Yeah, they did, yeah. Went viral? Yeah, so. All right. Are you going to have one? Get, come on, get inside and we can maybe... Come on, should we try one? Come on, come and get one. <laughs> get one, come and, enjoy, come and join me and we'll, we'll figure out if it's any good or not. All right, lovely. Here we go. Right, everyone. As you might have guessed, we're here in York. Now, we couldn't come to York without our first destination being this place, the York Roast Co. This is the original place that went viral for this thing. The Yorkshire pudding wraps. Essentially, your much loved roast dinner wrapped up in a giant Yorkshire pudding, served like this. What do you reckon? Not for you. You're not wrapping your York roasties up like this then, no? It's got, it's got everything inside it, Jess. I've got my stuffing, my veg. This one's turkey, I've got a beef one there as well. I want to try both, because I'm really had to nail it down. Well, they said, which one do you want to have? You wanted all the meat in one, I try, you? Yeah, I said, because I have all the meats in one. Like, no, not really. So we're going for beef and turkey. I've got potatoes in here, I've got stuffing the lot, Jess. Yeah, I've got potatoes. What? You haven't got potatoes in there. They serve the potatoes separately? Yes. Oh, I thought they potatoes put everything. Inside. I thought they put everything inside Stuffing, it. Veg, gravy, cranberry sauce, and meat. All right, cool. Can I just say one more thing? York, what a place. I've got to admit, Jess, having a roast dinner wrap at 28 degrees is probably not on my agenda today. Last time I came here, that was queues around the block. I never actually came, so I was on a stag weekend and we were off our chuffing guts. <laughs> You got a wasp all over you, by the way. It's all good. So I said to him inside, last time we came, there was a massive queue, and he's like, yeah, well, the kids are, have gone back to school, and it is 28 degrees. Like, People aren't looking for a roast. No, <laughs> no. You know, Nan's hungry, but she had a, she's got a heat stroke in the queue waiting for her roasties. Um, all right, Jess, look, without further, further ado, let's crack on to this. Okay, so what have you got me here? You've got me, controversially, a beef one with mint sauce. He said, do you want horseradish? No, I do not. I like mint sauce on my beef. Why? Because it's a bit of acidity. I like it. Nothing wrong with being a little bit different in this life, my love. I think people might kick off about that, though. <laughs> so we've gotten two. I'm going to have a bite of each. The roasties. This is probably where the score, for me, is going to be dictated. Because roast dinners are very subjective and they're very homely about... You know, a lot of it is about what you enjoy with your family and your own comforts at your own house. Is this going to be low level, mass produced stuff? Or is it actually going to be delicious? What do you think, Jess? All right, come on, come and have a bite. What, have you, what did you get? I got the beef from. We I'll went, have beef with we, you. Went for the beef. Did you go for horseradish? No, I didn't. Um, What's your name, by the way? Gary. Gary. Hello, What's Gary. You all right? You're staying off camera, are you? You're not going to dive into one end? <laughs> that lady in the tramp, you both meet in the middle? <laughs> Here we go, right. First impressions, Jess. York, the Yorkshire looks good. What's yours looking like? Yeah, mine You've got a rogue carrot. <laughs> I had another one a minute ago. But we'll oh, here we go. It, see what it's like. Oh. Mm. They're pretty good. Lashes of the gravy. That's what you want. Mm. Oh, Can't go wrong with that. Yeah. Mm. I've got rid of my rogue carrot, so we're all good. <laughs> mm. I'll tell you what, the veg actually brings a bit of moisture to it, doesn't it? Mm. Mm. Very good. I've been trying to try one of these for ages, haven't I? So this, these went viral, didn't they? For it, when this came out, it was on Lad Bible or something. Millions of views. Yeah, that's why I see it. Mm. Revolutionary product. Mm. Very good. The, uh, mm. Lovely. Nice to meet you, mate. Is that it then, yeah? Oh. What's your <laughs> score? I'll give it a five. Oh, five out of five. Oh, I was going to say out of five. We, we score out of ten. I'll oh, do you score out of ten? Fuck we'll me. give it a good eight and a half then. Eight and a half, good score. I'd say an eight good and a half score. out of ten. So I thought you were doing out of five. Mm. Hell. Yeah. Mm. You've yeah. thrown them under the bus. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Enjoy your trip. Cheers. Thanks a lot. Are you, you pleased you got one then? Yeah. I am now. Yeah. Lovely. What did that cost you? That uh, six ninety five. Oh, See you later. Cheers. God, blimey. Five out of ten. That nearly went. That nearly took a U-turn. Man was not expecting such a low score. So Jess, it's quite an interesting product. You've got. I've got a lot of moisture inside, Jess, and it's not breaking through the outer wall of this 
fucking what? It's not breaking through the outer wall of this Yorkshire. It's um, really nice. Crushed uh, stuffing balls, so it's all like crispy around the edges. And it's toasted in a yeah. toasty maker after. <laughs> what? Yeah. What? Toasty maker. It is a, what is it, like a hot press? I think it's like, yeah. Like, it's toasted maker. in a hot yeah. press. Yeah, but carrots in there. I've got meat dress. I'm a fan. Easy to eat as well. Roasting them on the go. I've made no... I mean, no secret, but this wasp is really pissing me off. I made no secret to the fact that roast dinner is probably my all-time favourite meal. I love it. This wasp is really, yeah, not a fan. Um, so, for me, this is quite an interesting, interesting review because I'm gonna come clean. There's a it was a rip-off, knock-off company doing something similar where we lived. And they were putting in their roasties in the roast potatoes inside it as well, and it made it it made it tough to eat. Not a single bite of that last one I had there was tough to eat because they didn't put the roasties in. Obviously, a bit of trial and error on their part, and they've cracked it because this is beautiful. Now this is the turkey one, Jess. This is gonna be like Christmas. 6:45. Yeah, Christmas in Australia. 28 degrees. Man's out here in the streets of York sweating his tits off. Go find an ice cream shop. Eh? Yeah, there's one there, look. <laughs> Woody ice cream. Do you know they reckon, Jess? York is one of the most beautiful cities in the country. Yeah? York and Bath. One of the two most beautiful places, and I've got to admit, walking around, it is stunning. It's nice, isn't it? What an amazing place for such a grand product. This is the turkey version with lashings of cranberry, yeah? There's not many foods. Mm, man. There's not many foods that do this to me. I'll be honest. Your roast dinners really represent family. The graph that goes into putting together a roast dinner is exceptional and like packaging in it in such a fast and easy to eat format, wrapped up in a Yorkie that we all know and love. Veg, stuffing, gravy, sauce. I think it's electric. Unbelievable. Big thing with turkey is it makes sure it's not too dry. Do you know what? The Yorkshire's retained a lot of moisture, but that sauce, the gravy in there, it's exceptional, Jess. Two wraps down. What have you got me here, my love? We've got a couple of sides here as well. Uh, Crackling. Yeah. Pork scratching. <laughs> That's an institution. All right, drink watch. Now, I did make a note of the the drinks fridge. Not my favourite. No, it was lacking. It was it? lacking. Let's just say it's a good job this is not drinks reviews. <laughs> Sorry, mate. They're very good, by the way. <laughs> um, we had things like Seven Up Light, Pepsi Max, water, orange and apple juice. I think that's about it. Probably one of the worst drinks fridges I've ever seen. Why I'm whispering here inside the shop, no one can hear me. So I've gone for Ice Valley, dual purpose, it's 28 degrees, and at any moment I might keel over. You so, had a fit in the museum garden, didn't you? Yeah, it's hot. Uh, the pollen got me. <laughs> I don't think there's any pollen. There's pollen, Jess, I'm telling you. Right, now I think this is where the reviews can be made. Or broken. Yeah, you, see the, you see the roasties over there, Jess? In the window. They, they look okay, don't they? I think everyone, as long as you're not using Aunt Bessie's, everyone loves their own roasties. This is what we have been presented today. So we roast these, we have gravy at the bottom. Number one, how cool is that? We've got a pot, cup pot full of roast potatoes. I don't know why I'm trying to break it up for, I just need to smash it in my, smash it in the gob. 
if I like this today, in this kind of heat, it's a miracle. It really is. Can you imagine this on like a cold winter's morning, not morning, cold winter's dinner, lunch, getting some shopping, roast dinner? First bite, absolutely bloody lovely. Oh really? I thought you were going to say you didn't like them. No. They are good. Gravy good? I think the gravy makes it, Jess. Yeah. Now these potatoes, they're oh. certainly not elite potatoes, you know, with that super crispy, crunchy out of, out of coating, Jess. But do you know what they are? Just chuffing nice. <laughs> Fluffy. Really nicely roasted. Super fluffy on the inside. That gravy again. Just want to eat the whole pot in front of you. <laughs> A gravy again, Jess. It's not like, it's nothing like yours, for example. But, it's just delicious. For such a fast, quick, easy, grabbable bite to eat, putting the nation's favorite inside a giant Yorkshire pudding and wrapping it up and serving it like a burrito, I think is an absolute game changer. York, stand up, incredible. Now, out of the two of them, which one am I gonna try and chow down the most? The beef all day long. That was electric. Time for a score. The world famous York Roast Co. I'm gonna give you a score today of price point 6.95 for the beef, 6.45 for the turkey, 5.95 for pork or ham, all of which covered in gravy with veg stuff in. Um, price point for me is bang on. Flavour is decent. Um, my initial question was, is it going to be low level, high number turnaround, or is it going to be decent quality? And I think it's somewhere in the middle, actually, Jess. The product for me, in fun and inventiveness terms, is great. It's a winner. Don't think for me it's going to get a giant score. That's taking nothing away from the product. Um, I'm gonna give this an 8.1. But on the smile meter, on the munch meter, on the fun meter, this is a 10, like, you know, that type of thing. On a full rounded review, a good eight. Come and try it, hell yes. Get your ass to York, enjoy the city, have some fun. And get to the York Roast Co one of these world famous wraps. Thanks for watching everyone and that was a review.